Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Honey, I Joined a Cult. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, please, I highly recommend them. Go check those out because I'll kind of explain how the Fellowship of Friendly Floss has developed and where we are today. Now, Tooth McScrubbers has been a little bit angry at me, and as you guys know, he's our chief dentist, and you can see him there in the kitchen grabbing a snack. I messed up a little bit. I have learned since we have built the bedrooms that it's better to have one large bedroom, like a dormitory style bedroom, than it is to have multiple little bedrooms like I built. So in this episode, my plan is we're going to go ahead and create one large dormitory bedroom, and that will help with the prestige of each room. So as you can see, we're just going to click on this one. Prestige is kind of low, and we can't really put a lot of objects in each little room to improve prestige without making the rooms massive, or each individual room massive. So we're gonna make one large, massive dorm room for our dentist, and obviously we're gonna leave uh, Tooth McScrubbers with his own separate bedroom, because he's great and terrific and deserves that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. My also, or my other plan is, this when these two bedrooms get moved down here, we're going to turn this into our new rec center, because as you guys have probably noticed, our dentists like to wake up, walk over here, all the way over to the rec center in the morning and then walk all the way back over here to eat and that just burns a lot of time so moving the rec center over here or the recreation room excuse me over to this little corner will aid in that additionally we have completed the research on the maggot rejuvenation room which i think a lot of you guys will find interesting so hang on and i'm going to go ahead and change the dormitory rooms and get the rec room moved over so I will see you guys back in a few seconds. All right, everyone, and I am back. So while you guys were away, I went ahead and redesigned the dorm room here. And you can see we got much more prestige. We've got 13 beds and 13 storage units. I also went ahead and put in uh, some tables and chairs, some uh, tables over here with some nice lamps and a disco ball and a mirror. We got some storage and a bookshelf for our dentist to continue to read. Additionally, we went ahead and moved our recreation room to right here. So that is right next to Tooth McScrubber's room. If you notice, I got some doors over here because I didn't want to delete them and lose the money, so I'll just use those as we build various projects. But like I said, we went ahead and redesigned our dorm room, our bedroom for all of our dentists, and we went ahead and moved our recreation room over to here. So while you guys were away, we finished a few things. So we finished the uh, room upgrade for the dental office. So we got better pews, which we can go ahead and put in here soon. And I think the next thing we're gonna research is let's go ahead and get the dental cap going so we can get more dentists in the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. Tooth McScrubbers also finished up his divine inspiration research and we got pentagram tops for our dentists. It doesn't really fit our theme, but that's okay. We'll take those and we can wear those if we want. Oh, we got a pentagram hat we can research. Well, of course, Tooth McScrubbers. Go ahead and get researching on that for us. So while our people are working for us, I'm thinking our maggot rejuvenation room or chamber or whatever you want to call it. Let's see what it's called here. Uh, maggot rejuvenation therapy. I'm thinking potentially right here. I'm thinking like right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and build ourselves a nice room right here and we're just gonna go do 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 and we might subdivide this room later so we'll drop that there and we're gonna grab ourselves a door and let's just go ahead and use one of the doors we tucked over here and we're gonna bring this all the way back over here and we'll put the door right there and of course now we need some pathing so we're gonna go flooring and I'm pretty sure we use paving tile one Let's make sure this is the same. Yep. All right, so let's go do, do, do. And then we'll do two wide up to the door and drop that there. All right, so our path to the room is ready. Now let's go to maggot rejuvenation therapy. And we're just gonna, oops, we got our sermon complete. We can close that out. And let's, we'll start by making it this whole thing. And like I said, we might make it smaller as we go. Now we need to go ahead and put some objects in here. So let's see what kind of craziness we can get ourselves in maggot rejuvenation. And I am already disturbed what I'm seeing. We got the maggot pool, can be used by followers. So let's um, let's put one let's put one here. Let's not let me put one there. Okay, maybe we need to have the container down first. Um, 
why are you not letting me put those in there? So let's go, did I mess up on rooms? Let's go to rooms here again, on a sign room. Let's go ahead and close all that out. And then let's go back to maggot rejuvenation. All right, maggot rejuvenation. Put that like that. All right, so that's what we built. Objects, let's select maggot rejuvenation again. And then here we go. I don't know why that wasn't working last time. So we can put up to, I think, three. Yeah, three maggot pools. So we'll do one, two, and three there. And the maggot hose. Um, I guess we can put the maggot hose there. The maggot controls for our person. I want him to be able to see all of them. And a maggot container. And we need at least, ooh, what's that upgrade? Mother grub? Oh. All right, so let's go ahead, let's do, let's do one thing of maggot container next to each of those. And actually, let's go move object. So put that there, and then we'll put the maggot hoses like that. All right, so yeah, eventually what we'll do is we'll just kind of cut this here, and then we can use this as part of our next room. So this is interesting. You can give yourself a nice bath and a pool of maggots. I guess that's what Asclepius would want, he says with a, a question mark. Um, I'm not, not quite sure, but um, okay. I guess that's a therapy room we've got now, and hopefully our followers and dentists enjoy that. So like I said, if you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, make sure you go check those out so you know exactly what's going on. Just to give you a quick uh, rundown again, we've got followers that come into the Fellowship of Friendly Floss Compound. And with them, they give us money, which you can see the green here, and influence, uh, which are these little yellow circles you see popping up as well. And these therapy rooms allow uh, our dentist to extract that from our followers. So we've got the electric spa or energy spa. We've got the spirit chamber. We've got the meditation studio, the dental office, which is where we pray to our good Lord Asclepius. And then now we have the maggot rejuvenation therapy room, which no one is using yet, but that's probably because we don't have enough uh, dentists, which hopefully we have that fixed here soon enough. We got this rolling on high speed. Let's check out some of the missions. Expires in a few hours. So who do we want to send? We can send, let's send End Wilson. He's got a 45% chance of completing it correctly. So he will head out and hopefully raise our PR. So our PR, which is down here, we're at 205 out of 1,000, uh, determines the quality of followers we get. So the higher the quality, the, the more money, the more influence, um, and if we decide to recruit them, the better uh, person they'll be when we recruit them into the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. Over here, we got Tooth McScrubbers working hard and getting us the pentagram hat. That's good. And let's see, research is going along swimmingly for increasing our dentist cap. So I'm going to go ahead and break here, and I'll see you guys uh, when we're at our next major thing. All right, there's a couple of things we need to do now. So we've unlocked the object acquisition mission. So let's go ahead and read this from Tooth McScrubbers. You now have access to object acquisition missions. People always say the best things in life are free. So anything we steal is guaranteed to be top quality, I guess. No words none the wiser, my friend, uh, Tooth McScrubbers. Get out there and steal me some stuff. Just try not to get caught. I don't like the cops. Well, let's see what we can do on that. Object acquisition. Uh, we're going to go get a random universal ornament. And let's send... Uh, who do we want to send? Um, let's go ahead and send Amy. Oh, she's got a 0% chance. Never mind. Let's go ahead and send um, maybe Bob. He's got 0%. Uh, okay, no one's looking like they're going to do a very good job, so we will not be sending anyone on a mission right now. We are able to recruit two more dentists, so let's go to our followers here. So we got Chloe Hagen. We're going to go ahead and recruit you. So let's go here, and we're going to click recruit, and let's see if she decides to accept. And she is now one of our dentists. Let's take a peek at her skill sets. She, uh, ooh, negative two on planning and negative two on improv. So we want her to stay away from the kitchen and the maintenance room and the covert ops room. So I'm going to have you become our maggot tamer. That is now your high priority, Chloe. Let's go ahead and select one more person. Uh, Isabel Kersey, you look like a fine candidate to join the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. So let's go ahead and recruit you. And you have joined as well. And let's take a peek. You, um, you're okay across the board. No negatives. I'll take that. 
and um, you can just kind of float around and fill in where needed. So now we have our maximum number of dentists. We have 12 dentists and of course tooth mix scrubbers and someone was just injured so we'll go ahead and close that out. We also have another room to build. Um, tooth mix scrubbers was able to research through his darkness research the infernal heat room. So let's, I think we can go ahead and put it right here. So we'll put that there and let's go ahead and see room specific objects. So we have the infernal blazer. Now we can tuck that in that corner. And then we can go ahead and plop in some benches. And I think we can only put two benches. All right, Sermon, you can go ahead and get out of our way. There we go. So yeah, we'll go ahead and plop our benches. We'll put one there and one there. And let's put the bellows uh, right. Oh, we can't rotate it that way. So we'll put that right there. All right. So we now have another therapy room for our folks to use. The infernal heat room. So it looks kind of like a sauna, but that... That's giving off some purple smoke, and that just does not look like health for anyone. Oh no, we got some flowers on our path. Let's just go ahead and move those flowers off, and we'll put those right next to the door there instead of throwing those away. All right, so now that we got two additional dentists, we should be able to staff the infernal heat room and the maggot rejuvenation room. Actually, let's go back and let's see. Chloe, we put you in the maggot, and then let's put Isabel in the infernal heat room and let's see where is that at maintenance lobby recreation energy spirit infernal heat room all right so chloe or excuse me isabella you're going there for our high priority right now we're going ahead and researching hamburgers which is the next food level uh that will be a nice little or excuse me we're not re researching burgers that's what i want to research next Right now, we're researching an improvement to our sermon where we can get some extra faith, increasing it by 10%. Looks like everyone's getting ready for their, I guess it's only 6 o'clock, they're getting ready for their nighttime meal, and then they'll probably hunker down for some sleep. I was thinking we could put some more... These dentists and getting injured, they need to learn to wash their hands. I, I built them this bathroom of tomorrow today. We've got sinks, we've got toilets and showers, and they still can't keep themselves clean. Uh, just no respect, no respect. I was thinking in the bedroom, let's go ahead and put some rugs in and we'll put... These these dentists just aren't very good at washing their hands. We'll put that rug there and then I just want to take a peek at some of these other rugs. We'll put another rug right here. We'll plop that there. All right, so increasing the prestige a little bit. Now, I don't think we got any ornaments yet. No, we haven't sent anyone out to get objects. Uh, let's see, we can do some pictures in the bedroom. Yeah, we'll put some pictures. Of course, we need a picture of our great leader, Tooth Mix Scrubbers. We'll pop that right down there. And then, let's see, where is... Um, we can, yeah, we'll put a picture of the Asclepius symbol there. There we go, so we're increasing the prestige of that room. So we'll go ahead and close that out. All right, it's the morning. Let's go check out the infernal heat room. Looks like everyone's enjoying the nice infernal heat, warming them up in their little togas. And in the maggot chamber, we got uh, Michael Rorick, uh, Ellie Charnin, and Rachel Fonzian getting some uh, maggot rejuvenation therapy, thanks to Chloe. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Happy for them. Let's go check out these missions. Let's see if we can acquire an object. This might still be 0%... Ch yeah, 0%... Success chance rate, um, and it looks like it is. You know what? Let's just go ahead and send them. Why not? Luke, let's see what you can do for us, bud. Off he goes. I'm guessing he's going to fail. There's a chance he ends up in jail. We'll have to see what happens. We might have to go bail him out. Uh-oh. Looks like the uh, Asclepius uh, lectern is broken. Someone will need to go fix that here for us soon. Uh, that means our followers will have to go check out our other therapy rooms, but I think they'll be fine. Looks like everyone loves the maggot rejuvenation room and the infernal heat room. So glad we're able to provide that for our followers. Someone else was injured. They, they just, these people get injured. Green slime excretions, dirty hands whilst eating. You know, we built them a very nice bathroom and they just, they're ignoring it guys. I, I don't know what to do for them. They're, they're so inconsiderate. We put all this time, all this effort, energy, and they just, Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. People these days. So yeah, it looks like the Fellowship of Friendly Floss is doing fantastic. Other than our maintenance people haven't gotten over here to fix that yet. Is that Amy going there to fix it? Thank you, Amy. We do appreciate that. Because we'll need that in a little bit for our sermon. 
Okay, how are we doing on research? Mission's almost done. Let's go ahead and wait and see what this mission triggers for us. Hopefully we're not sending anyone to jail. Complete, let's see, ooh, it failed. Plus, Luke was injured. We got plus 12 heat rating. So we're at 50 heat rating out of 1,000. 57 or 51.75 heat rating. Luckily, Luke didn't go to jail, that's okay. But we kind of knew that was coming, so we can we can live with that. Let's see what type of injury he got. Injury on a mission, duration 48 hours. Treatment not required. He lost two empathy for those 48 hours. Rather them than me. Eh, he's not right, wrong. You got what, brain freeze? Brain freeze it is. All right, Covert Ops just finished researching. So let's go ahead and read the description from Tooth McScrubbers here. You can now run covert operations. The key to success is planning and preparation. Increase your chance of success by running a covert operation before sending your dentist out into the field. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe we subdivide the kitchen instead of building a separate room. I'm thinking we just do something like this and then drop that like that. And then we're going to grab one of our doors from over here. Or let's do object first. All right, covert ops. And we'll just tuck that there. It's a little tight, but that's okay. Now let's go objects and we'll go move object. Grab this door. And let's tuck that there. And then let's go ahead and see the room specific objects. So we need a covert ops locker. Perfect. We'll drop that there. And when we need a planning board, and we can drop that there. And then the planning desk. Ah, perfect. This can fit perfectly there. So it's small, it's tight, but it is a covert operations room and we will take that and we will take it and run. Fantastic. So the Fellowship of Friendly Floss has done quite a bit this episode. We got our maggot rejuvenation therapy room built. We got our infernal heat room built. Went ahead and built the covert ops room. And then we also redesigned both the living situation, built this nice big dorm room for everyone. And we went ahead and moved our recreation room just a little bit closer to everyone. So go ahead and like this video if you've enjoyed the Honey, I Joined a Cult content. I think you guys have. I've been getting pretty good responses from everyone. Comment on down below. Now, you'll notice in this video I, I tried a different editing style. I've done doing a lot more cuts. So instead of playing it all the way through, you'll notice there'll be some jumping around. So let me know what you think of that, how I did, how I can improve, not only just in that style of video, but how I can improve overall. Always looking for feedback. I got pretty thick skin, guys, so don't feel like you're hurting my feelings if you tell me I suck and I should stop doing YouTube for the rest of my life. Um, so feel free. Any comments that will help me grow this channel, would love to hear them for you. And obviously, if you want to stick around and see either the train wreck that is slowly occurring or the growth and improvement I have been making, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out today, and we'll see you in the next Honey, I Joined a Cult video.